Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. You amazing, amazing, beautiful, wonderful people. It's Sunday, and this is the last video of the weekend. And the first video under the um, the official new name of the Ramp Podcast. I trialed it before. I changed it. I weren't 100% sure, but now I'm all in there. I'm balls deep mm. in the Ramp Podcast, and that's what this channel is going to be about. Us, you and me, that's right, you and me ranting about everything. Everything there is to rant about. And by the way, you are looking absolutely amazing. And this video here, what are we talking about? We are talking about Justin. I would just want to say, before I, before I go anywhere, let me just say, I do not offer any credence to anything this person says, all right? I was questioned yesterday because I touched on the Hannah Clary situation, and people immediately were like, oh, so you're offering credence to what Justin says? No, not at all. I had a lot of people who had reached out, especially over this last few months, talking about Hannah Clary, Hudson Lindau, and all these sort of things on the peripheral. And Hannah Clary is the one thing that's kept coming back and standing out, and people are... Talking about it, and they've they've said, look, does it offer any credence whatsoever? And even though it's not something that I would hold in high regard as a possibility, I think it would be ignorant to say that it absolutely offers no credence whatsoever. But I'm going to read you an email that I would imagine stemmed from that video, which was sent to me by Justin at about 1.30 in the morning. Are you ready? Strap yourselves in, because... This is nuts. So, the late, great Reverend John Papworth of the Church of England was my ancestor. One thing I've learned about Justin is he is related to everyone. Everyone. You're going to find out more in a minute. I'm a direct descendant. You know, the guy who was just defrocked twice for breaking the rules by rebelling against the church. The guy who was working to end child sex abuse in the Australian Catholic Church in 2016. Yeah, he's my ancestor. I also have ancestors who were British Army. Well done, you. You pissed off the wrong ancestors, buddy boy. <laughs> buddy boy. Buddy boy. Meet my bloodline. Karma's a goddamn bitch, isn't she? Seventh great-grandmother was Edith Wilson, making Doug my cousin. Doug Wilson is his cousin. So let's just... So he's related to someone, Reverend John Papworth, from the Church of England, um, direct descendant. Um, he's also got um, relations in the British Army. He's also um, related to Edith Wilson, means Doug is his cousin. Fifth great-grandparents were Daniel Ferry and Elizabeth Chapin, um, which makes Ethan Chapin his cousin. So Ethan Chapin is Justin's cousin. So keep a pin in, we'll put a pin in that for a second. Daniel and Elizabeth created the LDS Church in Provo after Joseph Smith was killed in Missouri, making these dipshits in Moscow and Pullman my cousins. My father was a Boeing whistleblower. He was trying to stop 9-11 from happening. They murdered him on 9-11-1999. What I will say is, obviously, if Justin lost um, a relative in the 9-11, that's tragic. Um, absolutely tragic, as is anybody who lost any loved one in 9-11. That was an absolute horrendous atrocity. And, and even though I was young back then, it was still something that impacted me as a human being as well. So I'm not going to comment on that. But you're tracking the relatives. My gra my father was a grand knight in the Knights of Columbus. He usurped his this dude, John George Gow. George was a um, a, a paedophile and trafficker. Finally, bit the dust and ate shit and died in July of last year. George was directly in bed with these assholes in Moscow and Pullman via his trucking and limo companies. Um, when I enlisted in 2018, I pissed off the Department of Defense. Um, yeah, I pissed off the Department of Defense because I wouldn't bend the knee and lie for them. I wouldn't parrot their false narratives. I wouldn't push the insane agenda to medically and surgically transition non-transsexual children. They made me go away. Um, Scott Jr., 
is my little brother. He killed Kaylee. It's his sonata. Get the fuck over it. So Scott Jr., who is the relative of Hannah Clary, is also now his little brother. Of the third half brother. I think of her cousin as well. But in this, for the purpose of this email, he's saying Scott Jr. is my little brother and he killed Kaylee. Um, so did he kill Ethan as well? Or are we saying that there was multiple people and just that one person? You know, it's a complex situation, this. You've got to get, get it right. Cause I am the one who was supposed to go down for all of this. This is a military op with an ultimate end goal of my being imprisoned or 5150'd. Except the whole damn thing blew up in their faces because they can't pin a murder on me that my brother did. His DNA is male, mine is female, and you cannot change your biological sex. However, if you want to be a carrot, you can damn well be a carrot. So I've been told. Their insane desire for crazy trans to be the one who did the murders backfired. They know I know everything. They're all shit and bricks because I know exactly where every last one of their skeletons lie. Um, Let us also not forget I have Bush, Harrison, Jackson and Kennedy genetics too. You (laughs) You need to apologize to me. You very clearly do not understand who the fuck I am and who my ancestors are. Dylan Mortensen is a transsexual woman and there is absolutely fucking nothing you can do about it. You are only going to continue to make yourself look more and more stupid the longer you lie. And every time you defame me, that is another class for a felony charge you will be facing. My legal team is having a field day with this. Let me just... Make this very clear. Here is a message to you and your legal team. Go and fuck yourself because you are clearly, clearly one one sandwich short of a picnic. I I, I just don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. I know, basically, if you try, you know, if you go back and back and back and you believe in Adam and Eve, for instance, then we're all pretty much... Related. I'm scared this dude's going to come back and say he's actually found out that he's related to me. Maybe he is like my 57th cousin removed. And I am, in fact, a descendant of Doug and the the, Ch- the Christchurch movement. And Ethan Chapin is actually someone who is also my long-lost relation. And But this is the kind of stuff that I get sent. So when somebody says to me, are you offering credence to anything that Justin says, for instance? No, I don't. And this is exactly why. So let's just summarize. Justin has a cousin or a little brother. Well, a little brother who killed his cousin. And it was done because they wanted to frame Justin for this crime because of something to do with trans people. Yeah, all right. I'll catch you all in the next one.